Many of us fire up the grill this time of year, but all of those backyard barbecues can really take a hit on your wallet. Today we learn how to barbecue on a budget. And perhaps you're in the market for a new grill. There are so many options. We'll help you figure out what's best for you. Plus, we'll introduce you to a few accessories that can make grilling so simple. From food to drink, you may want to consider serving wine at your next get together. We'll learn about the factors that can impact the taste of wine and go over a few pointers so it stays fresh. And this time of year, there's just nothing better than fresh fruits and veggies. How sweet it is is your go-to place. We'll pay a visit, plus find out what else they offer, including ideas on how to spruce up your yard. And maybe you want to spruce up yourself. Today we learn how to dress to impress from your head to your heels. And even if you don't like what you're wearing, we'll learn how you can still feel fabulous. And speaking of fashion, could flats be just as problematic as heels? Skinny jeans just a little too skinny. We'll learn more about some trends that may actually be harmful to your health. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. And I'm Brian Spiros in for Jimmy Hoppe and welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. And it's nice to have you on the couch Nice to here be here today. with you, yes. Yeah, it feels good to be here. Uh, day to tell the story about something that happened um, in Queen Anne's County. Queen Anne's County yeah, you, you were telling me the story this well, morning. Well, you know, it's been said, and there's been plenty of shows on TV that mm -hmm. convey this, that some criminals are perhaps not the brightest. <laughs> Uh, we, we, it's safe to say, uh, but last week the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office posted a status on their Facebook about a construction worker who fell on the Bay Bridge and how a rescue was underway. He got hit by a paint can, right? Yes, yes. Now we've done a lot of stories with the Queen Anne's County Sheriff and right. his use of Facebook and social networking to help catch criminals and, and get the word out there about people who are wanted. Well, a man by the name of Colby then responded to the status telling the Sheriff's Office to get its facts straight when posting something. Apparently, he obviously didn't like something they had posted about what had happened on the Bay Bridge. So apparently he maybe should have kept his thoughts to himself because then the sheriff's office responded a short time later and said, thanks Colby, by the way, we still have a warrant for your arrest. Check our most wanted page. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Oh, some people just don't know when to. They don't. If, if I had Be a quiet. warrant for my arrest, which I clearly don't, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily be posting on the sheriff's office uh, Facebook page, the, the sheriff's office who's looking for me. Especially Queen Anne's County because they're very exactly. savvy. He's very on top of it yeah. up there, uh, Sheriff Gary Hoffman. So anyway, case in points, be careful what you post on Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to tell you about uh, something that happened over the weekend. Uh, a 37 year old cross country coach at Cambridge South Dorchester High School, Sean Renke, participated in the Endura Fit Ironman 70.3 Eagleman Triathlon in Cambridge. That happened yesterday, and there's a picture of him. Now, he did the run in memory of CSD student Justin Han of Madison, who tragically passed away this weekend during the storms that hit that area, you know, up there in Dorchester County. The a storms lot of heavy that, rain. Here's the, uh, oh, here's something that's interesting. All the paint marks are from students, parents, friends, and family that reached out and touched him as he was finishing Yes. the triathlon or the, we have a shot of him there crossing right the finish line. right a lot of them parents who were friends whose students were friends with with uh, mr hand so this is a touching story uh it certainly tragic is. He, he did the the run in honor uh, of the young man the 16 year old so but mm -hmm. how befitting it must have been very emotional obviously for all those parents there right. and how nice for him to right. run in his it, memory they, they, they sat there and waited for him with their hands painted right. and then as he went by just touched him so yeah. very nice gesture on his part there mm -hmm. And if you were in Ocean City this weekend, you probably heard the jets flying over. I know. How could you not? How could you not? I know my boys went by. down there uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday. It got a late start because of the rain, but Sunday right. was a beautiful day for an air show. And our outdoors Delmarva video journalist Chuck Regner shot this video. This right here is the Red Bull stunt helicopter. And uh, Captain Willie actually got to meet the legendary pilot who flies it, Chuck Aaron. Aaron is the only civilian pilot licensed in the U.S. who can perform aerobatic maneuvers in a helicopter. That is incredible. That is incredible <laughs> because, I mean, you know, you think of aerobatic maneuvers and, and planes and things like that. Have you ever seen it done in a helicopter? I've never. I mean, just looking at this video, you're like, helicopters are really not supposed to be doing that. And <laughs> some of the moves that they did included barrel rolls, loops, 
and split S turns, I would, I don't know, I may, I would have maybe lost my lunch on that, 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 <laughs> but I got in a severe headache. Um, so this is obviously video inside the chopper over Assateague Island. A credible video, again, this is the only chopper that does this, and you can watch um, all the video and more about the air show. It's going to be this uh, this week on Saturday on mm -hmm. Outdoors Del Marva. So that is incredible video there. It's 7.30 on WBOC. Oof. Yeah. Something else. A big event in Ocean City with the, uh, with the air show. Next weekend is the Ocean City Shark Tournament. It actually kicks off on Wednesday. It's one of the largest shark tournaments on the East Coast. Now, I, if you've never been to a weigh-in at one of these tournaments, Which I suggest I you go. I have. I've been to to the tuna tournament weigh in. They're pretty neat. They do the weigh in at the Ocean City Fishing Center on Route 50 in West mm -hmm. Ocean City. And you can go to that on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 3.30 to 7.30 or 7 p.m. 3.30 to 7 p.m. So all the information you need uh, in regards to the OC Shark Tournament you can find on delmarvalife.com. It's pretty impressive just looking at I imagine I some of the stuff that they pull out of the water and you're like, I was I was swimming in that ocean yeah. and that was around there. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say. See, they're just keeping you safe. Exactly. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> well, um, now that the weather is uh, is getting nice and warm, slowly but surely, um, people may want to spend time out on the water, but if you don't have a boat, like me, I don't have a boat, maybe one either. day, I you are canoe. not out of luck. <laughs> it counts for something more than I have. The uh, Skipjack Nathan in Cambridge has started doing public sales from now through October. The sales leave from the Long Wharf Marina in Cambridge, and they go out every Saturday for two hours, I believe from one in the afternoon until three o'clock, and then one Sunday every month. Now, it's recommended that you make a reservation for times, prices, and other information. Just go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and uh, all the information will be there yeah, for you. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. Hey, um, a lot of us have aging parents. Uh, I, I have my parents are aging. My mother-in-law. You know, we always mm -hmm. worry about them having falls and and something happening to them in their Being home. Safe. Well, there's an event to help our seniors stay safe. It's tomorrow. It's a senior safety fair put on by the local Tri-County Adult Protective Services Council and the Holly Community Inc. It's a free event and they're going to have safety demonstrations and resource information on safety measures for the senior community. So this is not just for seniors, it's for those of us who who love our, our, our parents if and grandparents. If you have a parent or exactly. grandparent that neighbor, you want to get information about. The Senior Safety Fair is Tuesday, June 11th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Center at Salisbury. If you want some more information, there's a number you can call 410-677-4333. And it's absolutely free. All right, very good. People should go to that. I have a question for you. Have you ever been involved in a food fight? <laughs> be honest. Uh, be honest. Yeah, I have. I haven't. Really? And I'm looking to get involved in one. I, mm, hmm, you hear thinking, that, everyone? The you hear that? Going off. There's people raising hands. They probably want to throw food at me. <laughs> well, <laughs> how would you like to kick off your summer with a good old-fashioned pie fight? Still counts. Still food. Yep. Horse Force Production is holding a food fight of epic proportions this Saturday. Now, those attending should be prepared to throw lots of pies as well as bee pie themselves. Live music <laughs> from local Southern Fried Rock band Justified. Now, all proceeds go to the Caroline County Humane Society in the HF1 Hay Bank. Now, the Hay Bank has donated 2,700 bales of hay to horses in need on Delmarva and is a not not for profit. Not for profit. Now, right. Pie Wars Food Fight is this Saturday at 4-H Park in Denton. Gates open at 9 o'clock in the morning. The fun starts at 10 o'clock. And for more information, including the prices, you can call that number there. It's 410-479-0983. Or you can go to delmarvalife.com and we'll have all that information on and there. And you won't so get in trouble for this food fight. No, this is one where you won't get in trouble. <laughs> so we should have a food fight on Delmarva Life. There you not on the couches, though, mm. not on the white couches. Yeah, we good luck with that suggesting yet. that one. Uh, coming shot. soon, we've created Pet Connect. It's a free service to help lost pets get back home and for abandoned ones to find new ones. If you found or sighted a lost animal, lost a pet, or are interested in giving an abandoned one a forever, forever home. Forever, haha, for, get it. Please use Pet Connect and share it with all of those in your social networks. And, uh, Delmarvalife.com so you'll find that. Use that. Yes. Now, congratulations are in order. We have a couple congratulations in order today. And this one is for our friends at the Sussex County Federal Credit Union. Yeah. The Alliance of Model Schools has awarded the 2013 Best Example of a Community or Business Partnership Award 
to the credit union. Now, in this picture here, you probably recognize a familiar There's face. Debbie. Debbie Jewell there in that blue dress, who is the business development manager at the Sussex County Federal Credit Union. Now, for the past two years, the Sussex County Federal Credit Union has partnered with instructor Jason Jeandell mm -hmm. from Delaware New Tech Academy to teach students financial education through project-based lesson plans. They then develop those plans into real-life educational resources designated to educate students and their families on the importance of saving. And you may recognize him there. Uh, he's been on the show as well. He's Jason. right beside. Yeah, he, he's right beside Deb with holding the certificate. A lot of familiar faces in that yeah. picture. And the Delaware New Tech Academy also won the award as well. So congratulations yeah. to the credit union. And we would also like to congratulate WBOC's own Lacey Griffith and Scott Abraham. Aren't they adorable? They, are. they became husband and wife on Sunday, a beautiful beach wedding. I was I was nervous for them because of the, the weather on Saturday, but everything cleared out and they were able to have a, a beautiful ceremony uh, Sunday afternoon on they the beach. So did, congratulations, so. congratulations to them. They must be waking up to very happy people this morning. Yes. Married, it's over, and they had a beautiful ceremony. <laughs> Still ahead on Delmarva Life, many of us are planning parties this time of year, and that means firing up the grill. We'll find out how how to barbecue on a budget. And if you're in the market to buy a grill, you're in luck. Ramosay shows us what you should be looking for. Accessories that make the grilling experience a little easier, plus safety tips when it comes to cooking in your backyard. And from food to drink, wine can also go over well at your get together. We'll help you figure out what's best to serve and what factors can impact the taste of the wine. And later, capturing memories you'll treasure for a lifetime. If you're thinking about hiring a professional photographer, we'll find out what you need to keep in mind to get that perfect picture. Plus, many of us love to try the latest trends, but at what costs? We'll learn about a new fashion favorites that a few fashion favorites that can actually be bad for your health. Del Marva Life will be right back. Del Marva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and Mitsubishi dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.